Welcome. This is the uh, Algebra 1 practice test. This is actually Algebra 1 practice test 2 for the uh, Tennessee end of course test. Question number 6. The, crafts, the question says, which graph best represents the equation x minus 0.4y equals 2? Now there's a couple ways that we can go about doing this. The first method I'm going to use is a method you can only use if it's in standard form. Standard form means x and y are on the same side of the equal, which in this case they certainly are because here's the equal. What I'm going to do is uh, eliminate the y and then eliminate the x, do two separate problems. That helps me find my intercepts or the point where they connect with the axis. So the first thing I'm going to do is write this down a little lower. The reason being I'm working in a room where I'm doing this on a board and I'm too short to reach the top of the board very easily. Ha ha ha. Anyway, so I've got this set up. The first thing I'm going to do is set x equal to 0. The reason I'm going to do this is it locks in that I'm talking about the y-axis. If I can't go left or right, the only thing I can do is go up or down. So I'm going to turn this into a 0. And then I'm just going to solve it. This goes away, so I'm just going to divide by 0.4. Two divided by point, uh, negative 0 0.4 is negative 5, so my y-intercept would be negative 5. On the other side of things, I'm going to work the problem in which I'm locking that x-axis into place because if I'm on the x-axis, um, that means that I need to go left to right and not up and down, so my y-value is going to be 0. It locks me on the axis. So that means that this part goes away x drops down and so does 2. So these are my intercepts and I'm going to graph it in the one closest uh, to me on the top here. So it should connect down at negative 5 because y is negative 5 and it does and it should connect up at x equals 2 which obviously c isn't the right answer otherwise that would work in perfectly. And I'm going to try to draw the probably the worst graph you've ever seen and it really is bad. I, I can't even stand looking at it. I'm going to try again at negative 5 and 2. I'm going to try to connect them together here not the best, but better than the last time. So I'm going to look for the one that looks just like this, and of course, the one that looks like that is D. So the answer is D. That's intercepts method. I should mention, intercepts method doesn't work if the X term and the Y term are equal to zero. The reason being, the two points that you find will be right at the origin, and you don't know how to draw the line, so you're kind of trapped. The other thing we can do, which is probably something that you're more likely to do just because you can graph it in a calculator, is um, convert the standard form into slope-intercept form. So once again I'm going to write the form down here near the middle of the paper. The key issue with slope-intercept form is you need to get y by itself. So I'm going to draw a line, then I'm going to move plus x. So I need to subtract x from both sides. These cancel. I'm going to bring down negative 0.4y uh, X and 2 cannot um, combine because they're not like terms, so I'm just going to write negative X plus 2. Uh, that worked that part of it out. Now I need to get rid of times negative 0 0.4. The thing is I have to divide everything by that, otherwise it doesn't work. Because I couldn't combine the X and the 2 together, I need to make sure that I divide everything by negative 0.4. This would be negative 1 divided by negative 0.4, which gives me 2.5x, and then 2 divided by negative uh, 0.4 should give me minus 5. So y equals 2.5, I'm going to write it out a little bit bigger underneath it, 2.5x minus 5. Now, this part should tell me where it starts. This tells me it's positive slope, so I know it can't be C or B, so I can just eliminate those two things. Um, let's just graph it in the calculator, shall we? I'm going to go into the, uh, the graphing section, go to Y equals. I'm using the T84, yours may be different. And I'm going to type 2.5 X minus 5, and I'm going to graph it. And it gives me that nice pretty drawing which looks exactly like the answer we suggested it would be before, or I did anyway.
D. Sorry about the kick out part there. Um, so really that's a couple ways that you can do the problem. Not that difficult. I would say in my experience the number one thing people do is forget to change the sign in front of the X when they move it over. It's really simple for this X here to become plus X on the right side and you'll end up getting a negative slope and it really messes you up. So follow it out, write it out so you can see it. The amount of time that you will save is not worth having to take the whole class over again. So just do your best and I think you'll be fine. So good luck.